this is Jill Hindley about Boston, standing here in City Hall Plaza today, and we're reporting on the Scooper Bowl. This is an annual event that all proceeds go to the Jimmy Fund for the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. This is its 29th year this year, and this event began way back in 1983 as just a group of dairy farmers who got together to offer a country experience in the city. Each year it gets a little bit bigger. So today there's all these people here have come into City Hall Plaza to donate some money to the Jimmy Fund for cancer research and eat all the ice cream they can for only eight dollars. So we're going to go in there, we're going to talk to some vendors today and see why they're here and also see if we can get a good report about all the yummy flavors. I'm here with Alex and two of his buddies. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan and? Ross. And Ross. And they are enjoying some ice cream, so we're going to find out a little bit about them. Where are you guys from? Well, I'm from Boston. We're all from Boston. Uh, yeah, all from Boston. Boston. Are you here on a field trip out of school? We're on a field trip. This is um last day before graduation tomorrow. Yeah, we go to BBNN in Cambridge. Okay. So, in what grade are you in? Sixth grade. Okay. So you're graduating from sixth grade. Yeah. All right, awesome. Middle school. Okay. So they're going on to middle school next year, and they're here enjoying the ice cream. So now to the most important question, what was your favorite flavor today? Well, I think that um, milk and cookies from Ben & Jerry's is so good. That sounds really, that sounds like the, one of the best I've heard so far. Milk and cookies from Ben & Jerry's. How about you? I say blueberry sorbet from Brigham's ice cream. That was pretty good. We got to vote for blueberry sorbet, and then one more. And then uh, mint from... Uh, Ben and Jerry's, I think it was. Okay, so a mint flavor from Ben and Jerry's. Here's some more of their buddies. So when you walk into the Scooper Bowl, you get one spoon. They just, everybody who walks in and pays the admission gets handed one spoon, and then you hold on to that spoon the whole time you're here, and you can get as many cups of ice cream as you want, right? So who's got the record for your group? Do you know? Um, I have no idea. I have five. I'm five, five, six. I got five and six. Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. two. Yeah. You're watching your... It's like eight or something. Eight. Eight's pretty good. Eight's pretty good. I wonder what the overall record is. If it's up over 10 or 15, 30, 40. I saw this girl's had her things up yeah. to here. Okay. Awesome. Well, good luck with your graduation. That sounds yeah, fun. And you guys are all going on to middle school. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. Bye. 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 For the Scooper Bowl this year in 2011, the main sponsor is FedEx, and so they've donated their time, energy, and money to make this event successful. I'm here with Andell from Baskin Robbins. Tell us about what you've seen today so far. It's been pretty chaotic, but it's been amazing. Everybody loves our flavors. Um, the crowd's been awesome. It's, the weather's perfect, so we couldn't ask for more. And how many years has Baskin Robbins been involved? Um, from we've done it the past three years consecutively. Yeah. So do you expect more crowds as the week goes on? I think so. I think between the weather getting warmer and then the Bruins game, tomorrow's going to be a little crazy, but I think we're ready for it. So it's just fun. Everybody has a good time. So You're working. People are like working hard back here scooping. Yeah. <laughs> See the sweat on the shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it looks like you have a mixture of Baskin Robbins people and then you have FedEx people, volunteers helping too. Exactly. So FedEx is a sponsor of the event. So we have great volunteers here, which is huge. And then the rest of the people helping her from her corporate office in Canton, Mass. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, right here in Canton. Yep. All right, well, it's great that FedEx and Baskin Robbins can partner together, and obviously all the, the funds raised goes to a great cause. Absolutely. So thank you, Endel, for talking to nice us. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Thank you. All right, I'm here with a couple people who have a lot of cups in their hand. What's your name? Sean. And Laura. Okay, where are you guys from? Lowell, Mass. Okay. And Salem, New Hampshire. Okay, so they're from up north, and did you come down into Boston just for this today? Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> Do you come, is this your first time or have you come, been here my before? My first time. And this is my first time too. How many cups did you eat? That's the big question. All right, three is of her and eight of mine. So 11 in total. <laughs> That's good. And you had eight. I, that might be one of the highest we've heard so far. Yeah. Awesome. So what do you know about the event, I guess? Um, do you, you know, come for the ice cream itself or is any other reason? Most of the Jimmy Fund, you know, um, I'm a, I'm a big Red Sox fan. They're big affiliated with them, and uh, obviously she has her own personal reasons and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now it does. Every dollar that they raise actually goes right to the Dana Farber Cancer Institute. So it is a great event. So one more question for you guys: Your favorite flavor of the day? Uh, wow. Probably the orange sherbet from was it Edie's? Yeah. The Edie's orange sherbet, definitely. Okay. Edie's orange sherbet. That's a new one. We haven't heard that one yet. And how about you? And the mocha espresso chip 
going on over there. I think it's Hood. It's Hood. Okay. Mocha Expre Espresso Chip. Okay, awesome. Well, have a great afternoon in the city, and thank you very much. Bye. How are we going? Bye. I'm here with Scott Sanders from Bosco, and they are one of the, another vendor who's um, volunteering their time and giving out their, it looks delicious, chocolate syrup. Is this your first year here, or have you been coming many years to the Scooper Bowl? I've been coming as an attendee for many years. This is our first time having a table here, and this is something that I, I think every year is, is someone who's been sampling all the ice cream. I've come by and say, they don't have any chocolate syrup. And finally this year we looked into into sponsoring uh, the Jimmy Fund and having a table. Okay, so this was your your idea. This was your idea for the getting up, getting the Bosco represented here. Yes, yes, it was it was our idea. We were also approached by some folks from a company we work with, Acosta Sales and Marketing. Yeah. And um, do you guys have you partnered with the Jimmy Fund before? No, this is our first time. Okay. It's a new relationship, and we're thrilled to be part of it. Okay. I mean, the Jimmy Fund, uh, you know, being in the area, just know the good work that they do, and and I've been over to Dana Farber Center where they do just amazing work. So I couldn't think of a better cause. Know, yeah, it is a great cause. It's like you combine the best things, like yeah. like you know, the great cause with the great ice cream, and now we've got chocolate syrup to go with it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for talking to us, Scott. Have a good afternoon. Thank you so much. There is something that they have as part of this Scooper Bowl, and it's called the Scooper Schools. It gives school kids a chance to put in some time and volunteer and have um, a philanthropy experience before the event. And if they complete that, then they get to free admission and come to the Scooper Bowl and eat all the ice cream they can. So we're going to look for some kids that maybe have gone to Scooper School. Hi, I'm here at the Scooper Dole with Debbie Giganti, and she is representing a middle school, and they are here to give funds to the Jimmy Fund and enjoy the ice cream. What school are you from? Uh, the Henry J. Henry Higgins Middle School in Peabody. And what, how much did you raise for the Jimmy Fund this year? We raised two thousand dollars. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, how did you? How did the kids raise the money? A variety of charity events and fundraisers, including uh, carnation sales at Valentine's Day. We raffled off a pair of Red Sox tickets. We held uh, a school dance. A variety of things. They did a lot of. Of, um, charity work throughout the year to raise funds for this organization. That is excellent. So these kids at the middle school are learning to give their time, volunteer their time, and it builds self-confidence to learn how to give and, and be philanthrop philanthropic. So we're so proud of them. Um, so you guys are headed home right now? We are headed home. It's one of the hottest days that we've ever had here, but it's all worthwhile. It's all worth. How much ice cream did you eat? I don't want to say right now, but I did have my my share and then some. <laughs> Is there a record from anyone of the whole group? Do you know? Is there a record for how many ice creams everyone ate? How many did you eat? Riley. Riley. How many? One, Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. We're going to interview a couple of the kids. Hi, what's your name? Courtney Kylie. And what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth, Eighth grade. Okay. How many did you eat today? Two? Only two. Okay, so you're going low. What was your favorite flavor? Um, that like bazongo thing. I don't know what it's called, but like Briars. It was Briars. Okay, and how about you? What's your name? Brittany. Okay, Brittany, what was your favorite flavor today? I can't say it. Douche la. <laughs> <laughs> the douche la. The caramel thing. The caramel ice cream over there. Okay, what was, where, what tent was it from? Do you remember? Over there, Briars. Briars. Okay, great. And what did you what did you guys personally do to raise money for the Jimmy Fund during the school year? We did the carnation things, the carnation right? Carnation sales. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you, did you, what do you think? Um, what did you learn from the experience? This world isn't just about us. There's other people here. Excellent. Excellent. She said. Oh, go ahead. We both have family members with cancer. You do. My uncle passed away, and her mom has cancer. Yes. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. Well, she said that they learned that the world's not just about them, that it's bigger than that. And that is an excellent lesson for middle school kids. You realize that that's some, a unique perspective for your age. So we're so proud to meet you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. you. Have a nice day. I've got some more kids that I found that are enjoying this event today, the Scooper Bowl. What are your names? Fia. Charlotte. Sammy. Sophia. Ava. Andrew. Another Andrew. Simone. Okay, and one more in the back. Emma. Emma. Okay, we got all the kids, and um, all at once, would you guys tell me what school are you from? BBN. <laughs> okay, um, and are you here on a field trip or are you here skipping school? Field trip. Okay, good. 
good. So you're not just here skipping around. All right, so what I want to know is how many cups did you, well, who ate the most cups of ice cream today? We took like a bite from each one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we didn't really like we shared finish. A lot. Yeah, like we didn't really four. finish like a whole yeah. cup. Yeah. We yeah, kind of just like took a bite, took a bite each of each one. one and tried new things and stuff. Okay, and what were your favorite flavors? I gotta hear from everybody. Some more, the merrier. Some more, she said. Some more, the merrier. That's that's um that's cute. The mango oh. gelato thing. We've heard mango a couple times. I like the mango and the mocha chip. <laughs> Okay. Favorite flavor? I like the cowbellas, just all of them. <laughs> I like the mango, but I think the most interesting one was the firehouse. Yeah. I recommend it. Firehouse ice cream. Yeah, it's what? like spicy. Yeah, it's gross. Cool. It's, it's gross. Like it's hot peppers? No. I'm not sure. It's like cinnamon it's like pepperminty. Like very oh, gross. Exotic. Oh, my favorite was like the hunka chunka PB crunch or something like that. It's like crazy like that. Oh, that sounds yummy. Yeah. That sounds yummy. I think I want that one. <gasps> okay, great. So you guys came as a field trip, and did you come just for the ice cream or for the? Yeah. 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 <laughs> community service. Oh, early on the day. Okay. Okay, so you did some community service this morning. Yeah. Would one of you tell me a little bit about that? Go ahead. So, um, so at, we went to Fresh Pond. It's a drinking reservoir, and we moved some Christmas tree mulch to make like sort of a path. So the, for the water and a cushion for the and land, and then we pulled out some like burr. Like, yeah, um, um, we kind of like pulled out like invasive plants that are not good towards the environment okay. that are too many. Got, like, yeah. so. And so, yeah, paths were to stop erosion. Okay, so the key was to go to Fresh Pond and work on some some of the problems with the erosion there, and pull out some invasive plants. So you did that this morning, and now you're here for your treat. Awesome, and it's um, you had a great time. And what do you have in your hand? Hold up your spoons. Hi, I'm here with Bill and Dan from Friendlies, and they are some one of the ice cream vendors here today. How many years have you been coming to the Scooper Ball? Actually, this is Friendlies' first year. Okay, this is Friendlies' first so, year here. Yeah, we're going full out. We got our tractor trailer truck here with all the ice cream loaded onto it. We got people coming every day to scoop, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, three days, that's a lot of ice cream. Do you have any sense of how many gallons or tons or anything? Each uh, vendor was asked to bring 1,200 gallons. So I know in the first hour we went through almost 3,000 servings. Dan, have you been to the Scooper Bowl before? Uh, I have partook in it a year ago as uh, just kind of somebody coming in to enjoy some free ice cream, and I'm excited to be part of it. Yeah, now you're working for Friendly's here. Excellent. And so, okay, great. So Friendly's has joined in with all the other vendors. And what I guess what is Friendly's um, part in the terms of the Jimmy Fund? Is that something that's important? Yeah, the Jimmy Fund is really a, a new partner of ours this year. Um, in addition to Scooper Bowl, we're going to be partnering with them with their Little League tournament. We're going to be providing ice cream cards to all the participants. There's 5,000 players this summer. Um, so we're just looking, to a great, looking forward to a great relationship. Okay, a new relationship that sounds very promising. Great. Anything to add, Dan? Uh, no, I'm just enjoying it, so I'm, I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. We're really excited. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, all right, bye. So this event, this annual event, the Scooper Bowl, every dollar that is raised goes to the Jimmy Fund, and the Jimmy Fund is an outfit that raises money for Daner-Farber Cancer Institute. So here we go. We've got today's running total. They've raised $102,563 for the Jimmy Fund. And this event will go on for two more days. So it's a total three-day event. And there, like I said, every dollar goes to the Jimmy Fund and to cancer research and patient care. I'm here with Lisa. Lisa, where are you from? Watertown, Mass. And have you been here before to the Scooper Bowl? Yes. How many years have you come? Two years. Okay. Um, what is your favorite flavor today? Probably the mango. Oh, mango. Yeah. Simple. But there's one called late night snack with potato chips. Goodness, late night snack ice cream with potato chips. That's creative. So, how, Lisa, how many cups did you actually eat today? I'm working on my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth and tenth right now. She's on her ninth and tenth cup. That's impressive. Okay, here we've got a couple more people here at the Scooper Bowl. What's your name? April. Okay. Bill. Okay, great. And where are you guys from? We're from downtown, okay. right here, Boston. Oh, okay, so from Boston. And what brings you to the Scooper Bowl today? This is what, our eight, eight, 
I mean, we've been 18 year. We come every year. We love it. Yeah, competition to see how many uh, cups each person can eat. Right. Oh, <laughs> a competition among the family. Family, yeah, the extended family. Awesome. So this is their 18th year coming to the Scoop Up Bowl. That's impressive. That really is. So how many? So what's the winner this year? Who's the winner for cups? Grandma. Oh, I think he wins it. That's Gavin. Gavin, show you. Gavin wins. Let's. Gavin, can we see your cups? Grandma has more. Or, or, or his grandmother. No. The grandmother. That's impressive too. Oh, right here. No. <laughs> Gavin, how many did you eat? Um, so far, seven. Seven's seven. good for someone your size. Wow. And so I, the last thing I want to know is what, what everyone's favorite flavor of the day. Does anyone know? Favorite, what's your flavor? favorite flavor. Favorite yeah. flavor. Potato chip. Yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah, late, late night, night snack. snack. Okay. La another la vote for late night snack potato chip <laughs> ice cream. How about, How about yours? Um, I like just plain old vanilla. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> you need, need, we need all kinds, right? Okay. How about yours, Val? Uh, I like anything from uh, Ben & Jerry's. Yeah. Ben & Jerry's is a favorite. Okay. And one more. Gavin, what was your favorite flavor? No idea. <laughs> He ate so many, it's all blurry. All right, thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. I'm here with Justine and Catherine, who are um, volunteers with Chabella um, Sorbet and Gelato. I've actually had a couple bites of the mango, because we've been hearing about the mango, actually, around the crowds. It is, uh, it is it's melting your mouth good. So tell us a little bit about um, what you guys are doing today and why you're here. Um, we're here today to support the Jimmy Fund Scooper Bowl. Um, we're from Chabella, which is based out in New Jersey. We're serving four different flavors, the mango, which you've tried, um, the uh, chocolate s'mores, the key lime, and the wild blueberry. Key lime, too. Oh, okay. I'm going to... Oh! We served it last year, and it came in second place, so... We're hoping the s'mores does really well this year. It's a new flavor for us. When do they announce the winners? Is it at the, at the end of the three days? Yes, at the end of the three days. Um, the last day is Thursday at 8 p.m., so we should know then. Okay, awesome. All right, I'll have to pay attention. Great. And do you guys both work for Chow Bella? Yes. yes. I'm in the marketing department. I'm the marketing manager. And Justine leads our natural sales team um, here in the East Region. Awesome. All right. And how many years have you been coming up to do this? Is this the first year for Chow Bella? Second year now. So we're pro now. <laughs> so awesome. Well, it's so nice to partner with the Jimmy Fund and raise money and to also be able to just serve ice cream because it's such a happy thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's out today, so. For a lot of scoops of ice cream and sorbet. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy my mango right now. It's so good. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. Okay, here we are. This, this is the champion of the family. It's Grandma. And how many cups have you had today? I have to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm on my 13th and 14th, and I'm just beginning. She says, Grandma says she's only just begun. She's got That's going to be the family record. I mean, for you've been coming here 18 years. Is this the most the men, most cups you've ever had in one day? Oh, no. I've made 20 or 22. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm she's... On my way. <laughs> so you're 13. So, yeah, you are on your way. And do you eat every bite? Every bite. Wow. I'm very impressed. Okay. Well, here we go. She's... She, Day of the year. I wait all year for this. What's your favorite flavor of today? I don't know. There's so many good ones. I love them. I just love ice cream. Yeah, I guess so. That's an understatement, I think, that you love ice cream. Well, have a great day. Thanks for talking to us. So, we've had a fantastic time here at the Scooper Bowl today. We've talked to young people, we've talked to old people, and it's all for such a great cause, and, and that feeling is here in the spirit of this event, that all of this f ice cream, what a fun thing to do, and not only do you get to have ice cream, which makes people very happy, me included, but you also get to raise money for Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So, we've had a great time, we've talked to some vendors, um, some new vendors, and some vendors who've been doing it for years and um this is the 29th year of the Scooper Bowl, and we hope it goes on for many, many more. So when you come in and you get your spoon, you can't let go of that spoon. Hold on to it, and you can eat as many, many cups as you want and enjoy the day. And this is Jill Hindley about Boston.